Hi students, welcome to my class. Today I am going to tell you the most important formula in trigonometry. First, the topic is trigonometry. Trigonometry and also in trigonometry ratios. Trigonometry ratios and also in multiple angles what is that multiple angles so pinana in these three topics today i will tell you the most important formulae which are very useful for jee and also for common entrance test okay and also for competitive exams okay uh, now let's start the video Okay, Nana. Now our first topic is trigonometry. Okay, um, the first formula in trigonometry is sine power 4 theta plus cos power 4 theta equals to 1 minus 2 sine square square theta cos square theta this is the most important formula which we will use in uh, two problems to solve in trigonometry okay this is the first important formula now our second important formula is sin 6 per theta plus cos 6 per theta is equals to 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta Okay, nothing is uh, tough, Nana. Here there is 4 divided by 2, 1 minus 2 sin square theta cos square theta. Here there is 6 divided by 2, 1 minus 3 sin square theta cos square theta. Very, very simple and very, very easy. Now, our third formula is cos theta plus cos of 120 plus theta plus cos of 120 minus theta is equals to 0. This is not a formula and actually it is a form we have to remember to solve there is in J means um, suppose we will solve all the problem last we get this expression we can write easily equals to 0 in this way this is very much useful now the fourth formula is cos square theta cos square theta plus cos square 120 plus theta plus cos square 120 minus theta it is very quite similar but there is here cos power 1 theta here there is cos power 2 theta here there is no exponential form here there is exponential form that is the same expression manner this is equals to not 0. Oh, sorry. This is not equals to 0. This is equals to 3 by 2. Okay. Simply remember, there are 3 expressions. So, we write 3 and divide it. There are square forms is divided by 2. Okay. There is uh, here, remember, there are 0. Nothing exponential. So, there is 0. Okay. Quite similar, Nana. We can remember like this. The formulas will become very magic to you. Okay. Now, our fifth formula is sine theta is in the form of sine theta plus sine of 120 plus theta minus sine of 120 minus theta is equals to. Here, there is a plus. Here, there is a minus. That's only quite difference, not a big matter. This is also equals to 0. Okay, now our sixth formula is take a copy, Nana. Take a copy and note these formulas. We can solve any problem in a, a, a chapter related to trigonometry. These are very, very important formulas. Uh, the video may be longer, Nana, but this is very useful. Take a copy and note down. Okay, cos theta plus cos of Sorry, Nana. Here, cos theta into. Okay, not plus. 
cos theta into cos of 16 minus theta into cos of 60 plus theta is equals to 1 by 4 cos 3 theta. Okay, Nana, simply remember there are three factors. So, we write cos 3 theta and 1 by 4 is uh, extra, Nana. That's it. Not a big deal. Okay, now we will write for the sine forms. Okay, sine theta into sine of 60 minus theta into sine of 60 plus theta is equals to 1 by 4 sine 3 theta. Here for the cos forms we will write cos. Here for the sine forms we will write sine. That's it. Uh, we can remember this formula. There are three terms. So we write 3 theta. There are three terms. We will write 3 theta. Sine is there. We will write sine. Cos is there. We will write cos. And 1 by 4 is the extra in the into form. Okay. Not a big deal. Okay. Now eighth formula. Which is very important. Is tan theta. Into tan of 60 minus theta into tan of 60 plus theta. Here we won't write 1 by 4 nana. Directly we write tan 3 theta. That's it. Here directly we write tan 3 theta. We will not write uh, 1 by 4 in this tan form. We will write 1 by 4 form in cos and sine form only. Next our ninth important formula is cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is equals to cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is equals to cos square a minus sin square b. You can ask me in the comment section, Nana. I will keep the PDF to you if you want it. So, please mention in the comment section. I will keep you okay. Uh, cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b is equals to cos square a minus sine square b. Next, we will write for sine form. Our 10th formula. Sine of a plus b into sine of a minus b is equals to sine square a minus sin square b sin square b is very common if there is cos of a plus b we will write cos square a if there is sin of a plus b we will write sin square a okay sin square b is peculiarly common in each and each the formula now our 11th and most important formula is if a plus b is equals to 45 degrees then if a plus b is equals to 45, then if, uh, if a plus b equals to 45 or 225 also, I can consider 225 also. If a plus b is equals to 45 or 225, then 1 plus tan a into 1 plus tan b is equals to 2. And... 1 minus cot A into 1 minus cot B is also equals to 2. Okay. Remember this. If A plus B is equals to 45 or 225, then 1 plus tan A into 1 plus tan B is equals to 2. And 1 minus cot A into 1 minus cot B is also equals to 2. Next. Next our 12th formula. 12 formula is if a plus b is equals to 3 1 5 or 135 if first uh, before we had seen a plus b is equals to 45 or 225 now we are saying a plus b is equals to 3 1 5 or 135 okay then 1 minus tan A into 1 minus tan B is equals to 2. And 1 plus cot A into 1 plus cot B is equals to 2. 
for 45 uh, sorry for 225 and 45 we had get 1 plus tan into 1 plus tan b is equals to 2 and 1 minus 40 into 1 minus quad b is equals to 2 for 315 degrees or 135 degrees there is a reciprocal in sign so 1 minus tan into 1 minus tan b is equals to 2 and 1 plus 40 into 1 plus quad b is equals to 2 now we will check out our 13th formula which is very much important which is if a plus b plus c is equals to 180 if a plus b plus c is equals to 180 then then summation we have already known no, no, this is a symbol for summation summation of tan a is equals to pi tan a summation of tan a is equals to pi tan a if a plus b plus c is equals to 180 then summation of tan a is equals to pi tan a and the summation of cot a into cot b is equals to 1 summation of tan a is pi tan a and summation of cot a into cot b is 1 now our next condition is if a plus b plus c is equals to 90 then the conditions are the reciprocals that is the summation of tan a into tan b is one is one and the summation of cot a is equals to pi cot a okay if a plus b plus c is equals to 180 that is one condition and a plus b plus c is equals to 90 that is another condition but the reciprocals no, no, that's it we have to remember this formula and by heart this formula and, and you have to note three four times this formula so that you can remember it fast way okay now our 15th formula if you remember i'm uh, if uh, the formulas i'm telling you can write uh, or solve each and every problem j names okay related to trigonometry by seeing this video okay i am going to upload many videos related to chapters for J means and also for MC purposes don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can receive my notification and you can watch the video okay then if cot a plus tan a is equals to what is the formula for cot a plus tan a 2 cosecant 2 a this is the formula for cot a plus tan a so what is the formula for cot a plus tan a 2 cosecant 2 there are 2 terms so 2 cosecant another there are 2 a so 2 a that's it now cot a plus tan a is there are 2 terms so 2 cosecant we have to remember then a a 2 a's that's it that's the uh, you can remember in this way also Okay, now the 16th formula is cot a minus tan a. Here there is plus sign. Now we are placing minus sign. Cot a minus tan a is 2. There are 2 terms. Cot. Okay, cot 2a. Another 2 is now. So for plus we write cosecant and for minus we write cot. That's the difference. Now we will see the 17th formula which is if a plus r minus b is equals to 60 degrees that is if a plus r minus b is equals to 60 degrees then the conditions are then the conditions are cos square a plus cos square b into m cos a cos b is equals to 3 by 4 okay if a plus r minus b is equals to 60 degrees then cos square a plus cos square b into m cos a cos b is equals to 3 by 4 and for the sine forms now we will write for sine forms okay okay this is our 18th formula if a plus r minus b is equals to 60 degrees then for sine forms we will write for sine formula sine square a plus sine square b into 
m sin a sin b is equals to same 3 by 4. For the sin and cos, the formulas are very very similar. Okay, cos square plus cos square b m cos a cos b equals 3 by 4. And sin square plus sin square b into m sin a sin b equals also 3 by 4. Both are the same formula with same terms of game. Now we will see for 19th formula which is cube form of cos cos cube theta plus cos cube 120 minus theta plus sorry minus cos cube 120 plus theta is equal to see here for minus sign we wrote plus here for plus sign we wrote uh, minus sign we wrote plus okay for cube forms this is cos cube theta plus cos cube 120 minus theta minus cos cube 120 plus theta these are the forms for cos cubed forms okay uh, the formula is 3 by 4 cos 3 theta before for square forms we had written 1 by 4 form this is 3 by 4 form because the powers are cubed forms so we write uh, power cube okay 3 by 4 cos forms 3 theta now we write the formula which is 20th formula that is tan theta plus tan of 60 plus theta plus tan of 60 minus theta you are uh, going to say no 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 this is tan of 120 plus theta first one is tan theta plus tan of 60 plus theta plus tan of 120 plus theta which is equals to tan 3 tan 3 theta okay 3 tan 3 theta okay um here see there are three terms we will write three and there is a tan form we will write tan and there is a three theta so these two terms again will choose by three and the number like this we have to remember this formula so that you can use in your examination number 21st formula is uh, which is a formula from p uh, first we will do this formula there are uh, remaining three form days then we will jump to periodicity form days period of some value okay next uh, this is sine of a plus b plus c okay sine of a plus b plus c is equals to summation of sine a cos b cos c summation of sine a cos b cos c which is minus sine a sine b sine c so sine of a plus b plus c is equals to summation of sine a cos b cos c minus sine a sine b sine c now we will see the formula for cos of a plus b plus c okay 22nd this is the cos of a plus b plus c we will write the formula for cos of a plus b plus c this is cos a cos b cos c minus summation of sin a sin b cos c okay this is the formula for cos of a plus b plus c these two formulas are much important for remains okay don't forget to see these formulas once okay before going to exam okay next Okay, now, now we will continue our video which is number 23. Okay, our 23rd formula is A cos theta plus B sin theta is equals to C and then then if A cos theta plus B sin theta is equals to C then we get A sin theta minus b cos theta is equals to root of a square plus b square minus c square a cos theta plus b sin theta is equals to c and then a sin theta minus b cos theta is equals to root of a square plus b square minus c square okay now our 24th formula is 
if you want the pdf of this you can just um put your comment in the comment section i will uh, keep the pdf in the description box you can go and click the link you can download the pdf okay if you want just uh, keep in the comment section okay if you want the pdf of this formula list next now we will see the periods period of sin x cos x and secant x and cosecant x is 2 pi nano the period of sin x cos x secant x cosecant is 2 pi and the period of tan x comma cot x is equals to pi the period of tan x is pi cot x is pi and for the old values is 2 pi okay these are the period forms now we will check the period for period of period of x minus integral of x is 1 the period of x minus integral of x is what nana? 1. The next one is the period of the period of ax minus integral of ax is equals to 1 by a. Okay. The period of Ax minus integral of Ax is 1 by A and x minus x is 1 by here. See the quotients 1 nana. So 1 by 1 is 1. Here the quotients are A. So 1 by A. Now we will jump to another formula which is 28 formula. Huh. So we had completed 27 formula. This is our 28 formula which is in the ranges of the uh, we had already discussed in a video uh, about the ranges and domains of some of these functions. Here the most important uh, fun uh, functions ranges we will discuss in this chapter which are very important for trigonometry part. Okay. The range of sin x and cos x is same number that is minus 1 comma 1. The range of sin x and cos x is same which is minus 1 comma 1. Next, we will check if there are quadratic forms or linear forms. The range is, you know, the formula is for that forms. Range of quadratic forms means a cos x plus b sin x plus c is the range if we have to find the range of this form the what should we do with the formula c comma root sorry c this is not a comma c minus this is okay c minus root of a square plus b square comma c plus root of a square plus b square this is the formula to find the range of this type of the function c minus root of a square plus b square c plus root of a square plus b square now we will check the 13th 30 formula which is minimum and maximum values we have to calculate i will write for minimum minimum i will use this 3 1 and for maximum i will write this max form okay i am using minimum value okay minimum value of a square sin square x plus b square cosecant square x. Okay, the minimum value of a square sin square x plus uh, sorry sin square x plus b square cosecant square x is 2ab. Minimum value of this is 2ab. Now, the minimum value of 31st manner, this is a minimum value of a square cos square x plus b square secant square x. This inverse is known as sine is inverse of cosecant, cos is inverse of secant, secant is inverse of cos. Okay, that's it. A square cos square x plus b square second square x is also 
2ab next the 32nd one is the minimum value of minimum value of a square tan square x plus b square cot square x inverses no no these are just inverses is 2ab okay a square tan square x plus b square cot square x inverses or 2ab next we will check the 33rd formula which is minimum value of a square secant square x plus b square cosecant square x these are not inverses no, no. secant is not an inverse of cosecant and cosecant is not an inverse of secant so there is a different formula it's not a formula of 2ab that is a plus b whole square this is a formula for which are not inverses if there are inverses we will write 2ab if there is not inverse then write a plus b whole square okay now we will uh, check the 34th formula which is if pi by 4 we have to remember these values now pi by 4 means 45 degrees and pi by 3 means 60 degrees and pi by 6 means 30 degrees and uh, 3 pi by 4 what is 3 pi by 4 135 degrees you can calculate it also like 3 into 180 by 4 you can do it you can get 135 degrees okay now uh, for 5 pi by 4 is equals to 225 degrees next uh, for 7 pi by 4 it is 315 degrees okay these are the formulas uh, sorry it's not a formula just you have to remember we can use any there this type of form, exponential forms okay so next check the 34 formula now we will check out about 34 formula nana which is if pi by 4 pi by 4 means what number 45 degrees is less than a by 2 is less than 3 pi by 4 if pi by 4 is less than a by 2 is less than 3 pi by 4 then then sine of 2 sine of a by 2 okay what 2 sine of a by 2 is equal to root of 1 plus sin a plus root of 1 minus sin a. This is the most important formula. Okay. If there is an angle which is divided by 2 is between 45 degrees. And what is 3 pi by 4? 135 degrees. Then 2 sin a by 2 is 1 root of 1 plus sin a plus root of 1 minus sin a. Then what is the value of 2 cos a by 2? 2 cos a by 2 is root of 1 plus sin a minus root of 1 minus sin a. Okay, 2 sin a by 2 is plus and 2 cos a by 2 is minus. Next we will see our 35th formula which is if a by 2 is between 3 pi by 4 is less than a by 2 is less than 5 pi by 4. Okay. Now, what is 5 pi by 4? It is 225 degrees and it is 135 degrees. Then the formulas are 2 sin a by 2 is equals to 2 sin a by 2 is equals to root of 1 plus sin a plus root of 1 minus sin a but it is quite similar but here the sign changes this is minus root of 1 plus sin a plus root of 1 minus sin a next per cos form 2 cos a by 2 is equals to minus root of here also sign change 1 plus sin a minus root of 1 minus sin a for this the formula here signs are just change okay minus signs okay 
Now we will check out our 36th formula which is between 5 pi by 4 less than a pi 2 less than 7 pi by 4. Now what is 7 pi by 4? 315 degrees. Okay, 315 degrees. What is 5 pi by 4? 225 degrees. Then 2 sin a by 2. Now tell me the formula of 2 sin a by 2. What is the formula? Just change the signs of sine to cos first to sine. Okay, that is root of 1 plus sine a minus root of 1 minus sin a. Okay, just change the signs, Nana, middle signs. Don't change the sign before the term, okay, in between the terms, okay. 2 cos forms now. 2 cos a by 2 is equals to root of 1 plus sin a. Now what is the sign? Plus 1 minus sin a. Okay. Now our 37th one is if the form is a by 2 is between minus pi by 4. Now actually here sorry for the mistake. Pi by 2 means uh, it is 99. So, pi by 4 minus 45 degrees is 1 foot. Okay. A by 2 less than pi by 4. Minus pi by 4 is less than A by 2 is less than pi by 4. Now, the formula is just put the minus forms here. Then, it becomes 2 sin A by 2 is equals to root of here minus 1 plus sin a minus root of 1 minus sin a and for 2 cos a by 2 we get minus root of 1 plus sin a plus root of 1 minus sin a Okay, these are the formulas for the different angles lying between which are divided by 2. Now, we will check out our 38th formula which is a simple one which uh, is not a more important J means but you have to remember this for all entrance tests of the angle. angle. Angle is equals to arc by radius. Okay, angle is equals to arc by radius. We will consider angle as theta, arc as L and radius has smaller. In this way, we can write arc is equals to angle into radius theta r. Okay, that's it. This is the formula of trigonometry. Now we will check out the formulas for trigonometry ratios. What the trigonometry? Sorry, ratios, no trigonometric values. We will check out these trigonometric values in another video. In another video. So, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share if you want. Uh, next, tell in the comment section next which important subjects video you want. Important topic you want. Tell in the comment section, okay. Just tell in the comment section next which important topic you want and which formulas you want and which which uh, topic I have to explain. Just tell. If you want, uh, suppose uh, you are not able to understand complex numbers, just, just tell me in the comment section, ma'am, I want complex numbers. I can explain each and every fo uh, form in a peculiar and easy way. Okay. Okay. Thanks for this. We will see you in the next video.